Hey guys, I've got my data recovered from this janky old bastard and uh, we can start prototyping the IDE interface for that PS2 Model 25 project. However, uh, before we start talking about that, um, if you uh, don't want to support big tech, you can find uh, my content mirrored on alt tech platforms linked to in the video description down there. We're going to very soon prototype that IDE interface for the PS2 Model 25 project. And I'm going to prototype it on one of these 16-bit proto boards that I've finally received. But um, I, uh, I don't want to solder it because then it's very difficult to make changes and it's very difficult to reuse the boards then. Um, and I don't want to breadboard it like this because um, once breadboard shit gets much more complicated than this, it's, it's just not reliable. You know, wires come out when your wor other wires come out when you're working with stuff and it becomes it becomes a nightmare nightmare shit just never never works very reliably on this stuff if it gets uh, much bigger than that so um i think what i'm going to do is wire wrap the prototype because that's uh that makes it very easy to change things but it's also very um very reliable uh however wire wrap sockets are ridiculously expensive um so what i did some time ago was i bought uh several old wire wrap boards off of ebay uh, and a lot for not much money um the problem with that is i have to uh salvage the sockets off of them which is you know far cheaper than buying the overpriced motherfuckers but uh there's a lot of uh wire that needs unwrapped and uh, a little bit of desoldering to do um Typically, uh, on these wire wrap boards, they only solder two pins, you know, on opposite sides uh, for permanent stuff like this. So, um, hopefully, hopefully my desoldering gun will be able to get that stuff good enough uh, that I can salvage all the sockets. So, um, and I mean, obviously, with these giant long pins, um, you know, this isn't really good for like a permanent ISA card or something. I mean, you'd, you'd lose at least one other slot just keeping shit from shorting out, you know what I'm saying? But as far as, as far as for prototyping, I mean, this will be the only other card, this will be the only card in the machine, you know, so we can keep it from, there will be plenty of room, you know, it's, it's not like it's going to be a permanent installation, we'll, uh, that'll be for, you know, manufactured PC boards. Here are a couple of the boards that I haven't started unwiring yet, and, uh, I mean, I, I think it's an extremely attractive um, fabrication method, personally. Uh, one of my bucket list goals is to someday build an entire uh, wire-wrapped CPM computer um, and then put it into one of those uh, ghastly um, modern uh, gamer ATX cases that have all the fucking tacky accent lighting and shit like that, except... Um, except the accent lighting will highlight the uh, gigantic mess of wires and um, it will be glorious and it will also have to incorporate vacuum tubes in some way um, and oh god yes so uh, the way wire wrap works is you've got uh, you've got this wire of course because you know it's called wire wrap and uh, a wire wrap tool and um, these uh, hand tools have often a stripper uh, inside of them for stripping the insulation off of a piece of it. And uh, for those of us who suffer from carpal tunnel, um, if you can find them, I don't think they make them anymore. They are also uh, electric wire wrap guns. This one's this one's kind of wore out, but it still barely does the job. So uh, the way you do this is you take your you take you take your strip to fire and. Uh, if you look at your tool, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but there'll be a, a like a notch in the side. That's for the uh, that's for the um, strip. That's about the length that you need to strip the wire out to from from the top of that notch down to the uh, down to the spacer down there at the bottom. So uh, in reality, it's especially for prototyping shit. It's it's not super critical. So. Uh, Strip your strip your wire 
like so. And then if you look at the bottom of the tool, I don't know if I can get this on the camera or not. It may not focus, but if you look at the bottom of the tool, it's got two holes in it. There's a, there's a big hole in the center. That's what goes over the post. Um, and then there's a smaller hole right out at the edge. And uh, that, that hole will go up into these notches and shit up here in the up here in the shank of the tool. So you want to insert your wire into that small hole. And I don't know if I can do that on camera or not because I'm about half blind. So you stick your wire up in there and you want the insulation to come up to the notch there. It, it goes up inside a little bit. It's This tool is brand new so it doesn't it doesn't have much wear. It's hard to get the wire up in there where it's supposed to be but uh, you know, we'll do what we can. The electric tool is almost worn out. It's like the opposite. The wire will go all the way in and you, it doesn't stop right anymore. Um, but then, uh, then once you get your wire up in there, you, uh, you put the big hole in the tool over top of the wire wrap post, right? And you, you have to hold the wire kind of firmly um, or it'll fuck up when you start wrapping and make a bunch of shit down at the bottom right so and then you just turn the tool like a screwdriver and uh, wire up your way straight into carpal tunnel land glorious day and uh, if you've done it right which I did not quite do right on that one um, so we'll look at one of these other ones <laughs> since I'm a failure at wire wrapping. If you do it right, there should be about one and a half or two turns of insulated wire on the bottom of the post. I've only got about one turn on that one, so that's that's a failure. Um, but it's fine for a prototype. But like on a production board, you want um, you want one and a half or two turns of wire at the uh, insulated wire at the bottom of the post. That acts as a strain relief. Um, and then the uh, the 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 stripped wire goes above that, right? And then um, if you have to unwrap a wire, you can just um, stick your tool back down over top of the post and turn it the opposite way and uh, it'll loosen it enough that you can just pull the wire right off like that. Now, of course, you know, if you've got, you know, multiple wires wrapped onto the posts, like you can see with some of these over here, you know, it's multiple multiple point connection there. You can't, uh, you can only unwrap the one that's on top. So if you fuck up uh, with one of the lower connections, you've just got to go down in there with a pair of side cutters and clip the wire on both ends and unwrap a new one on top. But it's, uh, it makes for easy prototyping. Um, Easier than uh, easier than using a proto board anyway. Easier to change stuff, um, but it's a hell of I mean a fuckload more reliable uh, than that goddamn breadboard. You know what I'm saying? So uh, anyway, uh, that's how things are going, and uh, I guess uh, I guess any of you who haven't left the channel after uh, these couple of off-topic messages that I've inserted into the thing. Um, I guess I'll see you guys, if there are any of you, left uh, in a day or two. Alright, have a good one.